Hey guys, it's Steven, your event director, host and MC for the 10th annual Agents on Film Festival of Shorts 2021. And we're joined here by the creative and technical director of Rena Dance. This is Kuka and Alex. Hey, thanks for joining us, you two. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, it's great to have both sides of the team here. So we'll go with Kuka as the creative director. Tell us, what do we get expect after watching your animation that is also nominated for Best Animation? Congratulations, by the way. Woohoo! Thank you. Tell um, us, um, yeah, what do we get expect? Go ahead. Well, um, after watching this um, this film, um, it's better to expect a, a warm, sweet story by, and a sweet rela relationship between two generations. So. Um, it's it's a story um, more about um, some there have a little bit like culture conflict between them, and um, we are expecting to finding a solution to um, to the two totally different cultures. Both. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I want to go to Alex for uh, being the technical director. Now, first of all, to the both of you, it's cute, it's mystical, it's cultural, it it's. Kind of like you were explaining to me that rena dance is a play on the word renaissance so you wanted to combine renaissance and dance to make your film title so alex can you talk about how all that came to play what was the idea what was the inception and conception speaking about the name the title of the animation um you know um on the on you know in, in the beginning we try to to think about um, a way to combine the uh, line line dancer with the ballet, but uh, but um, our goal is really trying to express the difference between the Western and the Oriental culture and the, the mixture of it, and how how our young generations can deal with the culture difference. So we. Tr so that's the idea why, and that's why we try to mix the word Renaissance with the dancing uh, and combine it to render dance. Now, Kuka, you just mentioned about, well, um, presenting to us the difference of cultures and also generations. Um, my question is, what is the message behind this film? Because I know it's a very, very strong message. But also, what was your inspiration? If you can answer that two-part question. <laughs> well, um, the inspiration is kind of the um, one of the personal idea. So oh. it's um, it's from my grandpa. Um, oh. Yeah, it's from a childhood story. You know that. So it's um, like back to um, back to like China. Like uh, when I'm much like still a child, I saw there when festival when something like um, those you know those um, old festival going on, they will they will invite a lot of like lion dancer into the town and playing and just dancing to celebrating. And- um, You would but, dance for yourself? Mm, nope, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, and crap. If you so, like ballet and you like lion dance. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but I, I don't know how to, how to dancing actually, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But like after um, I going to like um, to here, I mean to the U.S. to trying to achieve our uh, animation, like those um, learning pro process, um, I still see their you know line dancing in the Chinatown or somehow. But um, it's it's so I I kind of thinking about this is kind of a, a flowing of the uh, culture they're trying to mix with the uh, the local culture, but maybe we can find a way to uh, for ourselves to um, as a you know as a younger generation uh, generation to how to um, how to look about the the culture we have and the culture we are trying to achieve. So. Wow, I, I told you everybody it'd be a really <laughs> really deep and thorough message. And this is a question for both. You chose to use minimal dialogue little to none almost and, and especially for the grandpa but um the little the little one the little granddaughter she had a little bit of lines but almost minimal uh what was your choice in having that either of you can answer alex alex yeah. the first thing we need to consider is the budget you know <laughs> that is very that is a realistic thing I mean, yeah we're filmmakers this is a real interview you have to 
be honest, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, be, so because if we have a lot of dialogues, we have to, you know, invite a lot of voice artists to join okay. us. Yeah. So that's a that's a consider, and and I think, in my opinion, um, we are doing a very short film. If we have very long dialogue, it it will, you know, we will spend a lot of time to do that dialogue, especially with and with animations with lip sync. It will also. Um, we also need to spend a lot of time to do the you know very boring lip sync job. So yeah, we don't want to do that. We want to spend more time on some creative things. So that's why we choose to minimal the you know character speaking, characters dialogue because we try to convey a story with with image with the you know with the shots. That's our goal because that's um, you know for me that's why I love short films because. Good. They are beautiful and they are short, but they are also very elaborate. Well, both of you did a beautiful job. Again, it's magical. The colors are just breathtaking and also very mystical. I really liked it. And thank you again for supporting us. Congratulations for being nominated Best Animation. This is Rena Dance, and I'm speaking with Alex and Kuka, the uh, creative and uh, talent director, technical director uh, for Rena Dance. Please check us out on our website. Uh, the link is in our bio. Thank you again, you two. Have a great season and stay tuned who will be chosen best animation. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.